Hey, everybody. Hi. I'm glad to see you. I'm, I'm Steve Tarver. I am the director of the Blue Ridge Leader School. We're going to be talking a little bit about some of our training for our fitness activities at Blue Ridge Leader School. So there's three primary special points that we want you to remember today. First is called TOPS, T-O-P-S. It stands for training through overload that is progressive and specific. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you all to say that. So training, training. through overload that is, that is progressive and specific. Training through overload that is progressive and specific. All right, training through overload that is progressive and specific. Perfect, okay. Training through overload that is progressive and specific. All right, awesome. So what that means is, is that if you want to train and actually get something out of it, you've got to train regularly, you've got to overload the muscles that you're trying to train, and you've got to do it progressively, and it's got to be very specific to what you're doing. So just like the words say, so that's what we're going to focus on a little bit as we train. Secondly, is the concept of this R rate of perceived exertion, or called RPE chart. It's called an RPE chart. And that has to do with the overload or the intensity of the activity. And in order for the body or a set of muscles to actually improve, you've got to overload them, just like we said in tops. So if we use this, you'll see that this is broken down into certain categories. And if you want to get the best benefit from what you're doing, then you're typically going to be working out in the areas of seven, eight, or nine. So it'll be vigorous, it'll be vigorous activity, or even maybe something you would describe as very hard activity. And you'll see that starting with vigorous, it's actually to the point of becoming a little bit stressful. So we do want to stress our bodies a little bit, but we don't want to strain our bodies a little bit. So if you read this, on the verge of becoming uncomfortable, maybe a little even short of breath. And this one is that you, it's becoming difficult to be. So at the end of some of the things we're going to demonstrate, we do want it to be pretty hard. And particularly when we're doing repetitions, one after the other, we're going to be doing repetitions in sets of about 12 or 13. And the last three or four should be pretty hard, be hard enough that you're you're having to really work hard to even keep it going. Does that make sense? And then the last principle, and this may be the most important for what we see at the Blue Ridge Leader School, and that is training through a full range of motion. This is especially important for strength training, for t particularly with our push-ups and sit-ups. And what we mean by that is that when you train and you're overloading the muscles, you want to overload them through the entire range of motion. You can't just do it part way because it's specific. If you only do it this way, then that's how the muscle's going to train because of our principle of specificity. So full range of motion are, is going to be very important. So we've got, we've got tops, training through overload that's progressive and specific. We've got our rate of perceived exertion. We're going to be shooting for six, seven, eight, nine, and we have training through the full range of motion. So those are going to be the principles that we're going to be thinking about as we do all the activities that we're going to be reviewing today.